Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have Starbucks. Starbies. I have a little impromptu car shopping haul. I was out running a few errands this morning. I'm headed to the coffee festival this afternoon. My ticket is for three o'clock. So by five, I should have the shakes from all the caffeine. But um, I made a couple stops today and I wanted to show you what I got. I brought my little fanny pack here. Um, I went to Half Price Books and I got this cross stitch technique. It's an encyclopedia of all different kinds of, not patterns per se, but techniques like Hardinger and different stitches. But what really intrigued me is there is, if I can find it again, some directions on how to chart a sweater, like to cross stitch on a sweater. I know. So for $5.99, and quite frankly, I mean, this is from the 80s, but techniques don't change. You know, projects change, some of the fabric may have changed, some of the floss, but, oh wait, let's do it this way to hide in the back seat. But, like, techniques don't change. Stitches. Um, and it kind of covers all the different. There might be some newer ones, but whatevs. Then I went over to TJ Maxx. I was kind of looking for some fall stuff. And I scored some coffee. So I got this Harry and David uh, Moose Munch. This is maple brown sugar for fall. I need it for the office. I got plenty at home. And then this is my absolute favorite and I can only find it here, which is at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, which is weird, that they don't sell this Colombian in the grocery store, but they don't. So for $10, I got 24 cups. This goes to the office for sure. Oh, it's hot, or I'm hot. Guys, I'm telling you, after that football game last night, I'm turning the air on because I'm warm. Also, I've been fighting a sinus infection. I'm on antibiotics. I'll tell you a little side story because we have time. We're friends. We'll share. Um, August 19th, he said. I went to the... I work in an office. We have a health center. So if we get unwell on a Tuesday or a Thursday, there, <laughs> there is a um, nurse practitioner at my facility. Oh, my hair. And they also do, like, vaccines and stuff like that. But anyway, so... Um, I went down to see him because I had been deaf for a week. Could not hear. I've been complaining about this for a while. He gave me a steroid. He said my ears were fine. I didn't have any kind of infection. But I think the fluid was all backed up and it became a sinus infection. And I've had like a headache for a month. So I went in there on Thursday. I'm like, look, I can't do this anymore. I need some antibiotics. I also have an itchy neck. And I'm hoping it's not poison ivy because I was cleaning in the wood yesterday at my condos. Anyway, so he gave me some antibiotics on Thursday. Today is Sunday, and I'm feeling 100% better. My glasses are a little wonky, though. It's overcast out, so they don't know if they should turn into sunglasses or not. Whatever. Um, anywho, so um, I'm still a little stuffy, but yeah, last Wednesday, I thought I was going to stroke out. My head hurt so bad. And then on Thursday at work, it was just miserable on the top of my head. And this temple was like a stabbing thing. Yes, yeah, so I said, no, ma'am, I'm done. Anyway, back to TJ Maxx. <gasps> Look what I got. Isn't this the best frame ever? I have a picture of my boys that I'm going to put in here. I'm debating painting this black or not. Probably not. It was only $5.99. And it's adorable. Um, it is a little rough, so maybe I'll paint it, but I would have to then take it apart, so probably won't. But anywho, it's just a little frame. I needed one for the picture I have of my boys. I have a two with them together. So that'll work out. And then for lunches and snacks, I got these little um, Halloween lunch. They were they're just little lunch uh, food storage containers. I think they hold... A little over a cup it says yeah eight and a half ounces so they hold a little over a cup which is perfect size for me and I'm going to my stitching retreat in a couple weeks and I thought well this would be great 
um, for when I pack snacks to take down to the stitching room and it's fall themed. So I grabbed those, $3.99. I try to stay away from too much plastic, but sometimes it's just more convenient. So I will wash those and use them multiple times. So let's not, let's not panic about that. And then I, where am I? Oh, half price books. Oh, I also bought at half price books, this little um, bird watching book. It's a little notebook. And when you're out bird watching, you can write things down. Um, I have a neighbor that does bird watching and we gift each other little things at Christmas. And I thought, well, this is perfect. And you put in here, like, it has different birds and their descriptors, but there's also a place to log if you've seen that bird and when you saw it and anything bird-like. Bird I don't know. I'm not a birder. A birder? Is that even a term? I don't know. Then I ran to Joann's, like you do. I spent $26. So I've been kind of obsessed with this whole aragurumi crochet situation. I've been watching them on the YouTube. So I wanted to make some ghosts for Halloween. So I picked up this, I like this thickness of Juicy Couture yarn. I mean, we're buying, it's Luxe Velvet. Like Juicy Couture, really? We're gonna come out with that yarn, but it's irrelevant. I wanted this size yarn and they do sell this at the Dollar Tree actually. This, this is a 100 gram ball. I think they sell the 50 gram balls, which would have been much cheaper, but I couldn't find it. I think they, cir they circle what colors they come out with, and I feel like white is a Christmas one. So, anywho, they, I couldn't find it at the Dollar Tree, but this is really soft. Um, I'm going to make little ghosts, but I'm also, oh, here. And instead of plastic eyes, because I'm not giving this to children, this is for adults, I'm, I got some little black pom-poms depending on what size ghost I make will determine what size eyes it needs and I'm just gonna glue them on but then I also got glow in the dark yarn and this is in white obviously I'm oh it's upside down I'm going to glow uh stitch some ghosts in this color now these are gonna be tiny it's Lion Brand. This is a 50 gram ball. So just in comparison, this is twice as much yarn lengthwise, but it's also thicker. So we'll make some ghosts. There's free patterns all over the internet. And then I think, so I'm going to a cross stitching retreat, like I just said, in a couple weeks. And I've been making, they're called counting pins and you use like a hat pin. They're just cute to put in your um, pin cushion. But look at these cat heads. So these were, Regularly, these were all, I think, $10.99 a piece, regular price, but this weekend they were on sale four for 10. So I got them for $2.50. So I got Santa hats. I'll bring you along when I make these, super easy. I grabbed another package of the Halloween because I kept the cauldron, the hat, and the ghost. <laughs> so I only had one more hat, one ghost, and one pumpkin left to share. So I thought, well, I'll grab another one. These are just Asian inspired cats. Like, duh, who doesn't need those? And then look at these pumpkins. I love these. And I figured I will use these little dangly bits for zipper pulls or floss. I might even use like, no, I won't because this will get caught in your floss. But I will use these little drop beads for something. But I thought these were fantastic to make. So. I'm going to make, I think, enough for everybody at the retreat, potentially. That's a potential. We'll see how many I come up with. I need to buy some more pins, I feel like, to do it. So what I use are either extra long stitching pins or like um, quilting pins, silk satin pins. They're really long, like three, two and a half inches long, or I use the super long um, hat pins that come with the little end, but they're very cute. The hat pins work better because um, these are big beads, and so the hat pins kind of work better, but we'll see. I'll use up what I got. That's it. That's everything I did today so far. I'm going to be wearing the same shirt, and I'm going to go home because I have about an hour. I need to eat lunch, 
and I'll probably just chill for a little bit and then clean up my house and then I'm going to the festival and I'm gonna bring you along to the festival. I even brought with me today the selfie stick. I love this one. It is a gimbal, but I don't charge it and use it to track because I don't film vertically. I film horizontally for YouTube, so it doesn't really do its intended purpose. When it's on a gimbal, if it's charged, it will follow my head, but it only follows my head when the phone is upright, but then you get those black um, bars on the side and you can't really see what I'm doing, so I don't do the gimbal portion. I just enjoy this for what it is, but it also, it's also a tripod. I bought this for travel and it works out fantastic small enough I could charge it also and use this to like hit record or whatever I don't do that either I just use it for its tripoding abilities if you will so that was everything I bought oh I did get these at the Dollar Tree I'll show you because I bought them for today they'll be in my haul but um, it's the bio pure brand that they sell all the time um, but these are just little individual hand antibacterial wipes but let's smell it because it says it's fresh scent and going to festivals COVID's on the rise again um oh and if you don't know on monday you can order free tests again from uh covidtest.gov mm, that smells nice but it, it's it's just an antibacterial wipe and we're going to this festival which is outdoors and my niece's friend Riley will be there with her baby and so we need to make sure we're all sanitized so he doesn't get sick and so that's just easy but also I'll be having coffee so I'm bringing my steam stick but this would also work because I spill you know mm, that smells nice it also has aloe vera and um, vitamin E oil in it. It says it kills 99% of germs, but I don't know if it kills, what's the active ingredient? Uh, 13% benzalkonium. I don't know if this kills COVID. I'm going to have to look up that because it does say that it kills 99% of germs, but I'm not sure. Anyway, these are handy to have, Tri traveling, keep them in your purse. I don't mind the liquid stuff, um, except for when it spills in my purse, then I really much don't like it. So these I find more convenient for me, and they don't dry up because they're individually packaged. Um, yeah, my hands feel soft. They don't feel like they're drying me out, which again, I don't love all the super, my phone thinks I'm moving, my watch thinks I'm moving because I'm just sitting here. All right, well, I'm headed home. I'll leave this in the car to take it to the festival so I can bring you along and try coffee with me. All right, guys, have a good one. I hope you enjoyed my little tiny haul. Bye.